Able Bird Robot Kit is a free programmable autonomous robot with nine sensors. It is able to react standalone in his environment and has an Atmel Atmega 16 AVR main controller and several sensors to perceive his surroundings. Inside of the box, all necessary parts for this project. AAA's rechargeable batteries are not included. Do not forget, they must be 1.2 volt batteries. Start with the boards. The second level. The first level. And the sensor bricks and sideboards. Separate the sensor bricks and the sideboards. Set the right temperature on the soldering station. The sensor bricks get 120 ohms resistors on the RA spots. and 2.2K on resistors on the RB spots. Place 4 infrared LEDs and 4 phototransistors on the infrared sensors. Then, place 3 RGB LEDs and 3 phototransistors on the color sensors. Seven 5-pin angle headers have to be soldered on the bottom side of the sensors. Shield the black phototransistors with shrink tool and separate all the sensor bricks individually. The sideboards receive 5-pin right angle sockets. 5 pin straight headers, 108 ohm resistor, and a infrared LED. The motor holders receive a phototransistor to measure the motor rotation speed. Eight hundred twenty ohms resistor and a 10 nanofarad capacitor. The first and second level boards receive 45 resistors. Zener diodes, four Schottky diodes, eight silicon diodes, thirteen ceramic multilayer capacitors, two ceramic plate capacitors, 
a 15 MHz crystal. Four IC sockets. A 3.3 voltage controller IC. 5 PNP and 5 NPN transistors. Two white. Two red. And two blue LEDs. One jumper pin to pull. Three jumper pins, three pole. Three push buttons. One on off switch. Six electrolytic capacitors. Ten straight sockets. Seven right angle sockets. Two battery holders. Straight five pin headers, and one USB socket. Prepare the gear wheels. then on the board. Place the gear wheels. and the sideboards. Place the large screw with the hex nuts and the polyamide pin. Fix the wheels. and insert all the ICs into the sockets. supports for the second level board up. Place the board 
and fast on it with the screws. One last thing have to be done. The batteries. Now turn the robot on. The white LED beside to the switch should light up and all the other LEDs should blink in sequence. Press the push buttons 1, 2 and 3 and the LEDs 1, 2 and 3 should light up accordingly. Place the sensors into the front. and bottle sensor spots. Hold the push button 1 and turn the robot on. Place an object in front of the sensors, the corresponding LED should light up. Press the push button 2 and turn the robot on. Rotate the wheels. The LEDs located at the same side should blink. Press the push button 2 once and press the push button 1 to go forward, push button 3 to, to go backwards and 2 to stop. Use the calibration and color cards to calibrate the sensors. Press and hold the push button 3 and turn the robot on. Place the robot on the black rectangle and press the push button 1. The LED 1 should blink. Place the robot on the white rectangle and press the push button 2. The LED 2 should blink. The last calibration step. Place the robot on the color card. On the blue area, LEDs 2 and 3 should light up. Red LEDs 1 and 4. Green 1 and 2 and the yellow 3 and 4. Now it's time to program the robot. Plug the USB cable and turn the robot on. The CD contains all required softwares. You may use Arduino IDE, the online platform or the software provided on the CD. Open the RoboDude application and load one of dozens options of programs. Hit the program button and enjoy the Nipa program.